Attorney General Faris Arawi said it's important to celebrate your successes but also to love your failures. He explained why he chose not to become an advocate, saying he didn't want to be a slave to the court schedule and wanted to practice law in a broad way. Mr. Al-Rawi admitted that a young lawyer has a lot to learn and is largely unqualified for the first 10 years of practice, trying to avoid liability. He said the robe is a reminder of a lawyer's civil and social duty, which often requires giving up comfort to go into service. That client of yours who comes to you in a moment of desperation, for whom you fight, for whom you think, for whom you encourage, it isn't the paycheck at the end of the experience that does it all for you. It really is the factor of watching the relief of someone's soul, the tears in the eyes that you will see when you have delivered a sense of justice. But in doing so, he urged the budding lawyers to seek to find balance in their professional and personal lives, because time goes by very quickly. You've heard the expression that the law is a jealous mistress. So true it is, but it tears you away from what real balance looks like in life. And ultimately, what you tend to hap find happening in your life is that those who are closest to you tend to pay the heaviest price. Ultimately, your wives or husbands and your children. And then it is that you have to tear yourself back to that balance of human reflection. And he recalled the moment he learned that important lesson. Doll in hand, food along her face, messy and, and ran up to her dad and grabbed him and hugged him. And for one moment, this particular senior counsel's world stopped. And he behaved effusively as if there was nobody else in the room. No one else was in the room other than his daughter on that Friday night. And that hit me like a wall. Because I learned right then and there, your first priority is your family. Speaking to a room of law school graduates, as well as esteemed senior lawyers and mentors like Law Association President Reginald Amor, SC, and former Attorney General John Jeremy and others, Mr. Al-Rawi urged them to have courage and empathy. Melissa Dastroff for C News.